Hey everyone, hi, how are you? My name's Winter and I'm gonna do a collective reading. And so I'm gonna go ahead and say a prayer. And if you'd like to connect with the energy of this reading, then just visualize a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love, breathe that light in, and then just ask your spirit team to connect with you through this collective reading. Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters of Love and Light, Ancestors of the Highest Good, Angelic, Cosmic, Galactic, Benevolent Beings, and Higher Light Beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now to be here with me for this reading that I will do for the collective. May I see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today, this evening, and convey them in such a way as to enlighten, inspire, and heal. I thank you for honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come only from the divine, that are only of the highest good and to the harm of none, and thank you for the accuracy on my part as well, with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to use these moonology cards, you guys. You may be feeling um, uh, like a little unsupported by certain people in your, in your life. Um, you may be like really looking for guidance right now, guidance and support. Um, there's this, um, yeah, like there may be like a situation here with like your friend circle and maybe, or like a lack thereof, um, because then we've got process your emotions. So you may be dealing with, look, avoid drama. You may be like really trying to avoid certain people, avoiding, uh, you know, that come that come with drama. And look, change your tune. So there may be like a a, a person in, in your life that is like kind of harping on the same old thing, um, or this could even be you where you've been like kind of harping on the same old thing within a a, a situation or a relationship. Um, but let's see what card uh, spirit has for you. I'm going to pull this one. We have the law of attraction. And so look, release blocks. So if you are, you know, like you're doing all of the things, you're like doing the positive thinking and you're like doing the visualization and it's like you're doing all of these things to attract to you. But but the things that you want and spirits like, look, you need to accept responsibility for whatever these changes are that you're wanting to happen, accept responsibility for these blocks that you may be uh, dealing with right now. And so if you're not attracting and I'm not like preaching at you, believe me, I understand. But there there are some blockages here that's keeping you from fully attracting everything that it is that you want, need, and desire. And so, like, if it's with regards to your career or your love life or even, like, your spiritual journey, you know, um, there it, it's almost like maybe you feel like something is falling apart or something is, um, uh, like, too far out of your reach, you know? Like, something here feels like, Maybe you feel like it's far fetched or, you know, something along those lines. And, um, you know, maybe you actually are just kind of feeling like, yeah, something might be falling apart or like you can't um, put some, bring something together. So hold on just a second. I want to look in the book and see what it's saying here for this. It's the falling moon. Oh my gosh let me just look at the 
you guys, please just bear with me. Don't go anywhere just yet. Just give me a moment to um, look this up and see where it doesn't. It's not even giving me where the. Oh, there it is. The index. OK, so sorry, you guys. Just one second. I just want to see what it says for the box. Um, 42. It says, <clears throat> something about your situation is blocked. There could be some repressed emotions swirling around your current situation. So if you're not attracting what it is that you're, you're trying to attract right now to you, um, it could be that there there's something here that's repressed, maybe deep within your subconscious or some repressed emotions, maybe some some anger. There could be like some anger, frustration, uh, resentment that that might be kind of blocking you right now. And it says this is a problem because emotions are like the water as you ride along the river of life block your emotions and it's as though the river has dried up so you can no longer so if the river is dried up then how are you going to be in that flow to attract this abundance to you right so um we'd all like a straight answer to our question but sometimes that answer is inside of you you need to release all that all the rubbish that is blocking the answer from the surface so like maybe you have been like um praying for something you've been hoping wishing praying for something which actually came out in the reading that i did right before this one that um uh got deleted um so you know if you have been like searching for guidance or or praying for an answer or praying for something it's like spirit is saying it all rests and resides within you your outer um, world is a direct reflection as to what's going on inside of you. So really taking time to figure out like where, where, what's the hold up um, within you. And, and, and it's going to take more than just, you know, um, just sitting, you know, for a few moments and being like, okay, there it is. It, it takes work. It takes progress. It takes work and it takes time to, to actually make that progress. But you will start to see progress. Like you will start to notice signs around you that you are, that these blocks have been released and you are starting to, uh, attract the, um, what it is that you're wanting to manifest into your life. So um, this card reminds you to practice self-care and to process your emotions. So like, what does it feel like when you haven't attracted what it is that you, that you want just yet? Like, what does it feel like when you're facing, like, do you, do you feel anxious? Does your heart race? Like you can actually feel these physical symptoms in your body are you reacting to people when they frustrate you or anger you do you lash out do you um you know like do you feel self-conscious or feel that this doubt it may be that other people are able to get reactions out of you and if that's true if other people are able to disturb your peace or if you're not able to get um, or achieve the goals in, in the timely manner that you wish to achieve them is, is what's that say about like what's inside it of you, right? So like taking responsibility here, accept responsibility for the challenges and the blocks that, um, that we are facing. We need to, to uh, accept responsibility for the, these, um, blockages and, for the, the state, <laughs> like I put my hand up like that and then she puts her head right up into my hand, <laughs> you know, and practicing that self care. It's like, you know, um, it's so much healthier to allow yourself to express your emotions, but expressing them in a healthy manner. And so that might be exactly like what you need right now, like what you need to do right now. Um, in your current situation so like 
if you believe that insecurity on your part is currently holding you back from the successes that or to holding you back from attracting what it is that you're trying to attract then this is just that you know spirit the divine is giving you a reminder right now to really work on yourself and you know with this accept responsibility it's like truly being honest with yourself like that's the first step that's always the first step in anybody getting help it's like when um uh when addicts and i can speak from experience the first step to healing is admitting that you have a problem so the first step is just um you know being honest with yourself being responsible you know maybe you need to um if it's anger maybe taking some anger management courses or like breath work focusing on doing breath work you can do breath work um on uh on youtube for free like you can look up uh breath work videos or something like that you know ask other people for advice even like finding a reader that you feel uh comfortable and confident with or that you feel safe with or that you trust um to give you readings to to find out like what are my blockages what is blocking me from my uh, attracting or like what am i currently attracting in my life right now so you can see like what it is that you're currently attracting and then if you want to change it well what do i need to do to change it maybe even like asking um older people for advice or like somebody that you care about a friend somebody that you you know it, or even like you know finding if you know what it is if you know what those blockages are figuring out how you can release those blockages if it's insecurity what can you do to start building up your confidence you know um and i know that the the world is a scary place and when we've been through things where we have felt insignificant where we have been cheated on or or um been abused or taken advantage of sometimes it's easier just to stuff all those feelings down so finding healthy ways to process those emotions and to release them and to so that you can you know start to attract the things into your life that that you're worthy of that you know that you're worthy of because there's a part of you that um that doesn't feel worthy because you are god and god is you and you have the ability to create the same as god has created so if you and god are one then then that means that you are creating just but it's like you may think to yourself why well, didn't create this but but you create your dreams but you feel like you have no control over your dreams either but you but you still are the one that that creates your dreams when you sleep at night so there because there is that subconscious self of yours that creates that but that's still you so you you still create your reality too right so um and you are god so by getting it to the root cause uh you'll be able to once you identify you'll be able to release that and then start to really have this blank canvas to start to attract what it is that you want and look the the queen of coins is on the bottom of the deck and so like maybe um this is um you know about like your financial and emotional security this is like you know security issues maybe you have judged yourself too harshly or you have judged others too harshly and so that is reflecting in your life in some form or fashion where you view the world as judging you like you know um judge not at least uh ye be judged himself so maybe you have judged others harshly and now you um somewhere in your subconscious are judging yourself or are feeling judged by others um so spirit can you tell us more also this may be something that's been ingrained in you even as a child from from family uh you know in the home that you grew up in there's this need to really forgive yourself as well so um you may hold like some resentment uh and towards yourself 
the seven of swords i feel like there is definitely like some uh um what's the word i'm looking for imposter syndrome and so maybe you are suspicious of others or suspicious suspe suspicious of people who who believe in you who tr who have faith in you because maybe there are aspects of yourself that feel un undeserving, but this is a card of also like figuring out how to get out of a situation that's no longer working for you. Going back to the drawing board, you know, um, maybe you have really deceived yourself. And again, like maybe have uh, avoided, there's been this energy of avoidance and, and now this is like accepting responsibility. Maybe you have, avoided responsibility and have maybe put the blame on other people or like blame this situation or that situation and so spirits like now this is the time for you to you know to really uh um accept responsibility here that's going to be the first step to helping you to release these blocks to attract what it is that you desire you may have been lied to by by society as well you know or um by different belief systems and so like changing your beliefs and figuring out how you can get out of a belief system that's no longer working for you Look, celebration and the eight of wands or sorry three of cups and the eight of wands so like your hard work you know i feel like you are working and you have been very devoted at um uh, trying to attract whatever this is that you're wanting whether it is you know material success or like um success with business or relationship or whatever this is for you like you have really have put in a lot of work but you know maybe there's still like these blockages right that you haven't been able to fully create the this this life that you're wanting and look how we have the with the three of cups and then there are three women on here and it's moon mastery and this is like ma a, a, a level of mastery over your reality having mastery over your life and by with the moon by going deep within the subconscious going deep within to um to work with the moon which would be to work with your 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 fears your insecurities your um you know that which is hidden and um and with the cups representing emotions and so you know this is a way to you know you may have to like um talk to other people or talk to friends or you know but this is like the universe supporting you as well and so this is how you're going to um also to look there's two fishes which represent pisces so the um pisces is a very like um psychic energy this is like tapping into your intuition but but as you do like work towards releasing these blocks it's like things are really you're going to notice here with the eight of wands things really take off for you there's going to be reason to celebrate i am seeing like other people coming together to um to support your vision, to support, you know, your, um, what it is that you're trying to uh, attract. And, but regardless, like there is going to be reason to celebrate. And also too, there may be something significant about the, about the 4th of July, because 
when when I see fireworks, the first thing I think of is the 4th of July. And this really kind of makes me think of fireworks. So, but regardless, maybe the 4th of July is just symbolism from spirit for like your independence day, you being uh, free from the darkness that has really clouded you, you being free from pain or resentment or insecurities. And, um, also too, I'm seeing something about like you just uniting with your higher self to create. And with this eight of wands, this is like, things are really going to start to pick up. You're going to start to see like physical evidence and that, but, but again, like with the Knight of coins, that's that sneaky voice of perfectionism. So you really have to watch out for that little sneaky voice of perfectionism. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have all the answers, right? And, um, but regardless, spirit is saying that you will see progress. You will start to see things take off. It's like you are going to see progress. You are going to see improvement towards attracting what, what it is that you're trying to attract to yourself. You know, the reality, the type of reality that you're wanting. So let's get some angel numbers, the type of reality, not only that you're wanting, but that you're trying to create in your life, whatever this, whatever reality, look gratitude is the first card on the bottom of the deck so being humble and grateful for all that you have now and it says you are now a vessel of abundance so you are a vessel of abundance spirit is saying this right now as you release these blocks being grateful because you are this vessel of abundance and prosperity overflowing with the gifts of the universe. The universe wants to gift you, but if there's somewhere within your subconscious, anger, insecurity, um, sadness, whatever, the universe can't, you know, can only bring you what, what you give it to work with. And so the universe does want to bless you. The universe does want to shower you with abundance and you have so many gifts here and, and they're you know so um just first and foremost showing how truly grateful you are for everything that you have right now having that attitude of, of gratitude cultivate gratitude in your heart you know and and celebrating everything that you do already have um and it says here uh cultivate gratitude in your heart for it is the fertile fertile soil soil that nourishes the seed of bliss remember a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles a sacred invitation for the richest of blessings reasons here to celebrate so let's see also, um, that was card number 88. I don't know if it's on the bottom of the deck, but it was card 88. Let me see. Yep. See the gratitude. It was card 88. And then we've got eight. So eight, eight, eight. Eights are about hard work too, like putting in that hard work. So it's going to take work. It's going to take emotional, mental, psychic, and physical work. Show me clearly spirit and courage because the eighth card is in the major arcana is the strength card so having courage and confidence it's like spirit saying this is look the the eight this is show time this is this is time for you to be confident this is i heard that i heard this is show time uh somewhere today but anyways this is time for you to show how courageous you are, how confident you are, you know, and it's like almost fake it till you make it. So being confident uh, uh, and, and acting confident until you actually are confident and can feel confident. But, you know, having showing yourself some compassion, being gentle with yourself, kind to yourself. Show me clearly, spirit. 
What messages do you have for the collectors? This card was actually on the bottom of the deck when I, um, well, it was right behind the card number 88. Also, we've got 222. Two, two. This is co creating. This is being in alignment here with whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is that you're trying to attract and co creating with the universe. But look, this is patience. And, and the strength card in the major arcana can also represent having patience. So being patient with yourself, the knight of, of coin, the knight of cut, or sorry, the knight, the knight of coin would actually be the, the knight of pentacles as well, which that is like a, a very like methodical, slow moving energy as well. And it says, when the winds of uncertainty blow and the mind races with indecision, the seven of swords here, you know, the mind racing with indecision, um, and feeling like you may feel uncertain or maybe feeling like, I don't know, am I going to be able to create this? Is this going to happen for me? It says, slow down and surrender to where you are right now. Cultivate patience in your soul, for it is in the stillness between actions where the seeds of profound growth are sown. Slow down. Breathe deeply and trust that all is well. So if things aren't happening yet, slow down and know that all is well. Release these blockages and know that all is well. 636, all is well. Having patience, slow down, breathe. Everything is happening as it should. Too many cards but we will look at them. We have courage. Look, it says courage. And that's what I was saying because I was saying all the eights, which would represent the strength card and the strength card represents courage. We're going to take them because they came out and I just know that they're for you. Three, three, three. Okay. So you may, and then look, three of cups. Spirit is saying, have courage and celebrate yourself too. And it says, look, you are granted the courage to take hold to take bold strides forward. This is the time to leave behind the comfort of the familiar, to rise above the fear, and to seize the opportunities that lay ahead. Your perspective holds the power to transform any situation into a progressive step on your journey. Look, so now it's time for you to be just take the bull by the horns and be courageous, have confidence, let go of any kind of fears or insecurities or doubt or or they fear that you're not ready or fear that you're undeserving or any kind of insecurities or you know any of that uh, self-sabotaging type talk or behavior and be bold and confident here because that is what holds the power here you hold the power to transform your journey to change and transform your journey here you have the power to transform any situation look into a progressive step forward to to uh, to uh, to attracting here what it is that you desire to attracting the reality that you want and then because of your courage is leading to this breakthrough your courage and your belief in yourself your abilities your skills and your ability to not let other people talk you out of what you know to be true in your heart for you and not only to uh, other people but but yourself as well, a breakthrough. You are on the cusp of a significant breakthrough in your life after a period of stagnation. The, the blocks are being released. The blocks are being removed. So any kind of stagnation that you've had, any kind of like where you have just felt fear and worry, oh my God, this is not going to happen. Why am I not attracting? Spirit is saying, ultimately, the outcome, there's going to be a breakthrough because of your courage and your confidence here. There's celebration. What it is that you've been working so hard for, you're going to be acknowledged. There's a breakthrough here. And you're seeing signs. You may even be seeing like 12-12 on the clock or maybe 3-3-3 three, three, three on the clock. You're going to start to see physical signs that your reality is changing. 
And it, but and the first step to that is that you're watching this reading right now. You have shifted mentally, spiritually, physically have shifted by simply watching this right now is enough to prove that to you right now. 1212, 12, a breakthrough. You are on the cusp of a significant breakthrough in your life after a period of stagnation. Your willingness to grow is all the energy you need at this moment. Your ability to grow, you're, 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 you're bound and determined. Like you are so determined to improve your situation, to improve your life and to attract the kind of life that you've always wanted. Your willingness to grow is all the energy you need at the moment. Set new goals, look, set new goals and, and live them out. Opportunities will come to you effortlessly if you open yourself to growth and new possibilities. So th that's it. Like you are, so all you need now is to sit down, be honest with yourself, accept responsibility, work on releasing any kind of anger, fears, those emotions where like so the, the emotions that made you feel insecure, made you feel fearful about the future or about what you're attracting, releasing all of that and then figure out how you're going to get yourself out of this situation that's not working for you out of this reality that's not working for you be courageous be bold take the bull by the horns step out of what has been familiar and don't ask well what if this what if that none of that <laughs> Be kind and compassionate with yourself. Rise above the fear and seize these opportunities and know that you are deserving of creating the life that you deserve, that you desire. Having mastery over your reality. Oh my God, this is phenomenal. This is, I'm so glad I did this reading for you guys. So glad. So, um, you guys, I will let you know who the winner is of the um, uh, free 30-minute video upload shortly. Um, but I will also be giving away a free question to someone tomorrow um, in honor of my birthday to celebrate that with you guys. So if you're wanting to... Um, take a chance on trying to win the free question, then just leave me a comment in this video and, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll randomly choose someone also on Friday, Friday, I will be doing a collective reading at the end of that collective reading. I will be choosing three people to pull anywhere between one to three cards to tell three people where their soul originates from. Like, where your soul like what star seed are you like what's your star seed origin where'd your soul come from so if you're interested in trying to win that then um then go to the community section on um uh in my on my channel and then you'll see the post where that i've made about the what star seed are you and just leave me a comment uh, uh, on that post and I'll be choosing three people, but it'll be, um, public. Everyone will be able to see it because it'll be on the end of the video that I'll be uploading on Friday. So, but, um, the divine in me bows to the divine in you. Namaste.